What an exhausting journey. I didn't even have time to collect my medical bag. And you haven't said a word for hours. I have been thinking. What is this place? A mill. I can see that. But what are we going to do here? It will be more interesting to see what you are going to do. I won't bend to your will anymore, Holmes. You have gone too far. Shh, Watson, not so loud. Why, does somebody live here? Yes, three men. Take out your revolver and try to keep them below while I search upstairs. Are they dangerous? They would kill us if they could. I'm going up there. Take care of them and make sure that they do not leave the ground floor. Holmes, wait! Welcome back, gamers. I'm Shot, and this is my walkthrough for the testament of Sherlock Holmes for wikigameguides.com. Alright, so yeah. The last uh, chapter was a bit weird. I wonder how Holmes managed to change his height to an old woman. But oh well. Alright, so go ahead and enter the mill. <laughs> All right. Blind, deaf, and mute. I'll be interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look around for a bit. This axle links the wheel and the grindstone, which must be in the attic. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab that. A gear! Gear. And put that in place. Alright. Let's go from here. A large, strong paintbrush. Okay. Check out the other things in here. A medicine cabinet. The Times. It's a London newspaper. Vodka. There's only a drop left. Alright, and let's take a look at the chest. This chest is very heavy and locked shut via a keypad. Without the combination, it'll be impossible to open it. Okay, so uh, nothing can do with that for now. All right, start interrogating these uh, dudes. This poor man is mute. Ничего не понимаю. Ah, you're deaf. Um. This man is seriously injured, and the wound is infected. Well, let's talk to the last guy. Totam. This poor devil has lost his sight. Stop playing games. You were reading the Times. You understand me perfectly well. So, you found us. What do they want, Alieko? Have you come to finish off your sordid work? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't even know why you're here, do you? You're just a pawn. A pawn who serves and obeys. And you? Why are you here? To escape from the enemies of freedom. My brothers and I are at war. Against who? Against order, liberty sites, the ruling classes, and those who exploit the people. Against the torturers responsible for our misfortunes. Against you and others like you. I'm not at war against anyone. Then why are you pointing your gun at us? Get out! I cannot! That's what I mean. You're nothing but a pawn. We've nothing more to say to you. Don't move from here. Alright, so these guys are obviously Rosh. But, uh... So there's nothing else you could do for now. Uh, so let's uh, switch characters. So this is the first time you're given the freedom to uh, switch between Holmes and Watson. Go ahead and choose uh, this icon right here, and then choose Holmes. 
Alright, so Holmes is on in the attic or the second floor. Let's have a look around. All the lamps are out of order. Petrol for the lamps. A strong rope made of hemp. Good quality. This chest is strange. Its decoration would indicate that its origin was in show business. Let's see. Alright, so let's uh, look around. Accessories for a magic show. A magician's costume. Alright, so let's go ahead and search it. Poor bird. Who knows what has happened to his master? Ideal for a magic trick. Alright, check the sleeves. Chichens always have stuff up their sleeves. Nothing interesting. Magician's equipment. Perhaps we will find something useful here. Nothing interesting. Right. A good pocket. luck charm. Right, nothing in that pocket. Let's look around. What was Mr. Ferguson doing here? This mill is hardly the ideal place to hold magic shows. Alright, so you got a letter right here. You go ahead and read it. A master key. A useful item to help a magician play the king of escape. Alright, so uh, that's it for the magician's costume. Let's keep looking around. Here is a fine range of suits. Most of them are uniforms, but judging by their quality, I would say that they are disguises. Alright. Alright. I can call Watson if I need him. Okay, let's check out these bags right here. Sacks of flour. Moldy and half-eaten by rats. A cog. Right. These full sacks seem to be the only ones left untouched by the mice. Unless they were filled only recently. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull out the knife, see if we can get in there. The flour is spread out over the floor. The sack is empty. Very good. That's it. Go ahead and read that. An information card. Interesting. The flower the other sack. is spread out over the floor. The sack is empty. Very good. Oh, apparently he's quite impressed by the sack emptying. Hog. Sacks. Let's try to grab that other piece of information right there. This one's a bit glitched, so we have to be at a certain place. Safe conducts in case of crisis. Passports for high ranking civil servants. None of them with names on them, obviously. Okay. Let's keep looking around. This millstone seems to be in good condition. Dark traces. It must be blood. There should be a cog here. There should be a cog here. Okay, so two missing cogs. We picked up one, so let's go ahead and put the other one in. Perfect. That's all we can do for now here. So let's back up. Keep looking around. These boards crack under my weight. Interesting. These bags are old and half empty. Nothing interesting. Okay. These boards have been broken and hastily repaired. All right. Uh, the knife is not going to work, so uh, let's uh, back out for here for now. And, uh, Check out this wall right here. This wall sounds hollow. 
This wall does not seem to be very solid. It is not made of brick. That is just a coating. This piece of iron juts out from the wall. Okay. All right, so let's head outside and back into the yard. Right now, get to notice this thing right here. Strange. This opening has been boarded up, but I'm sure that I didn't see it in the attic. I have a look inside the Watson first floor. seems to be in control of the situation. Excellent. Right, so let's grab this uh, stick right here. I need something. Right, so go ahead and pull out the knife. That could be used as a weapon in a necessity. Right, so we took the pole from the broom. Let's head to the shed right here. And uh, pull out the keys that you picked up. A tool right. shed. Go in here. Grab a screwdriver. That could be useful. Back out. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, spade. The blade of this spade seems very solid. So let's go ahead and pull out the stick, and then uh, use a screwdriver to screw it on to the pole. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now you got yourself a uh, shovel. All right. So let's head back upstairs. Pull out the shovel and let's start breaking these boards. Of course, a secret hiding place which contains a real arsenal. All right, let's check out this weaponry. A Gatling machine gun, a real war weapon. Boxes of weapons. New pistols. This chain is several yards long. All right. So uh, all you can do here for now is back out. Right, now use the shovel on the wall. There is an iron bar in this wall. Very good. The false wall's framework is held in place by an iron bar across it. All right, so... What I'm gonna do here is uh, pull out the rope and then put it on the uh, iron there. bar. The rope is in place. Alright, next. Use the chain right here on the grinding stone. Perfect. Okay, and then tie the rope and chain the together. The second cog is missing. Perhaps it is somewhere on the ground floor. All right, so gonna need to get Watson to help. Watson, Watson, have you almost finished? I need to get the millstone working again, but it seems there is a gear missing from the mechanism. I look on the ground floor. Perhaps it's down there. Yes, be quick. We shouldn't hang around here. All I can do now is wait for Watson. All right, so. Time to switch characters. Let's go to Watson. I don't know what's going on up there, but this flower has given me an idea. Right, so let's go to this uh, the chest first. Um, so getting the load. There we go. Right, use the brush. Start uh, dusting the buttons. Three buttons, greasier than the others, hold the flower. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in. Mechanical time switches. Rolls of fuse wire. 
I've found the timer belonging to an explosive device. You are terrorists, aren't you? The oppressive forces won't agree to civilized discussion. Propaganda by the D is the only thing they hear. You are murderers. We are first and foremost free men. Freed from the moralistic constraints of a system that exploits everyone. Contrary to you, a poor little sheep, lost without his flock. Arieko, tell him that we won't go back there. My brother speaks with the wisdom of a free man. If you've come here to kill us, do so. But we will never follow you. We were fooled once. There won't be a second time. You are mistaken about me. I'm not a killer. And you are even more of a fool than I thought. You don't even know why you are here. I pity you. You are even blinder than me. Are you... Are you responsible for blowing up a judge's house in London? Justice and its representatives are the double dealers in this country. Judge Beckett was one of the cogs. Thank God that it wasn't. We made the bomb, but we weren't the ones who put it into place. The one who ordered it placed it himself. Who? Let us look at my brother's wounds. He's suffering. No, don't move. I am a doctor. I'll do it. If only I had time to bring my medical bag. Take this key. It opens the medicine cupboard. If you really are a doctor, you can help my brother. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, open that medical box. Grab the key. Grab both of the objects, the bandages, and uh, I guess it would be ether or something. Hydrogen peroxide, commonly known as bleach. There's not much left. Oh, I guess I was wrong. This will be useful. Why did I say ether? Uh, not sure why. Should have been iodine or something. Alright, so go ahead and open your inventory. And combine these three objects together. That's right, we're using vodka. Alcohol is good for sterilizing wounds. Alright. And let's use it on the poor fella right there. These bandages should halt the infection. Thank you. The person who ordered the bomb, who is he? You are not part of his organization. What organization? The one he leads. The one that is responsible for the state we are in. The one that tortured us. Why were you tortured? So that we should keep quiet. I understand. The head of a criminal organization ordered an explosive device, which he then placed at Judge Beckett's house. Once the attack came off, he had you tortured to ensure that you wouldn't talk. Yes. And why Judge Beckett? He was in possession of certain evidence against him. But who, for the love of God? Giving you his name would be signing our death warrant. Does either one of you know where the missing cogs are? Well, I think there's one under the wood pile near the fireplace. All right. Said there. I got that cog. I must warn Holmes. Okay. Pull out the cog and give it to Holmes. There. Thank you, Watson. Alright, that's it for Watson now. Let's switch back to Holmes. Go ahead and uh, pull out the gear and put it in place. What was that noise? Everything's all right. Let us see what this wall is hiding. All right, let's head over to the wall and look at the poor chap that was trapped behind it. Body. I knew it. The magician was walled up here. Right, let's search him. A piece of paper in his hand. I have everything I need. 
Now it is time to destroy this place. All right. Okay, this is a bit as unusual as it is. Uh, all right, let's go grab the kerosene. Perfect. What's that smell? I can smell oil. Holmes, what are you doing up there? Sherlock Holmes is here. No, I'm not staying Nor here. Help me out of stop. here. Don't move. You think you can stop us? Sherlock Holmes is a dangerous man. I'm not hanging around here waiting to be killed by him. Don't be ridiculous. What are you talking about? You don't know what he's capable of. Whatever are you doing, Doctor? Give me that gun. Where is Mr. Holmes? You had better remain here for the moment. Am I under arrest? No, Doctor, of course not. Come in, Inspector. My wife did enjoy reading that last story of yours in the Strand, Doctor. That was a proper adventure. You think you might write about this case someday? I'd like to see it. Oh, well now, I don't know. <laughs> but that is very gratifying. And I'm glad to hear that your wife enjoys my writing, Constable. My goodness, what on earth was that? Inspector Baines is dead. The water mill is burning! Holmes has managed to escape from the police. He manipulated me from start to finish. And to think that I played an indirect part in his crimes. Quite amazing so far, ain't it? Ah. All right, so everything looks suspicious as it can be. All, right, all you can do left right now is uh, look around. You're flat. All right, you can go ahead and read that. Today's newspaper. Mrs. Hudson must have left it early this morning. Baines's murder has made the front page. The news has spread quickly. The poor man shot at point-blank range. He had faith in Holmes right to the end, and it cost him his life. Holmes's pipe. Broken. I didn't notice it the last time. We think that we know the people around us, those who are close to us, who are part of our everyday lives, parents, colleagues, companions, friends. Then something unexpected happens, and it tears away the blinkers which we have chosen to wear. And it's at that precise moment that we finally see the true nature of those who always mattered the most to us. But in Holmes's case, what could have pushed the man, whom I have always considered as honest and loyal, to sink to such barbaric crimes and cold-blooded murder. I don't have the answer, but one thing is certain. Up until today, I had a friend. A noise. But it's coming from the flat, I'm sure. All right, so this should trigger the next cutscene. So prepare yourselves and I'll see you in the next uh, video. Holmes! I know you are in there! Holmes! Open this door immediately! I think that I would rather not. Tell me the truth, Holmes! I need to know! You have no right to keep the truth from me! Tell me! I am sorry, Watson. Open this door, or I will break it down! Do what you like. The door is not locked. You've driven me to this. It's the police. Open up.
why did it have to come to this, Holmes? All those years of friendship and respect, of trust, everything that we went through together, and you deceived me all along, damn you. I wish that I had seen through all of your lies, but now it is over. It is all over.